Hello my dear medical students of MBBS 2022 batch onwards. Those medical students who are studying in MBBS first year and all those medical colleges which are affiliated to Atal Bihari Vajpayee Medical University of Lucknow. This is an important notification for you and the successive batches as well. Because many times students come up and keep asking about the part distribution of the syllabus. So right now you can see that this is the syllabus of anatomy and how it has been distributed in your paper 1 and paper 2. So in paper 1 you will have general anatomy, then CNS or the neuroanatomy portion, head and neck, upper limb, general histology and general embryology. In paper 2 there will be thorax, abdomen and pelvis, lower limb, systemic histology, systemic embryology as well as genetics. So as your gross part is concerned, remember the head and neck, CNS and upper limb. That's in paper 1. And thorax, abdomen and lower limb, that will be in paper 2. Then talking about histology and embryology, let me remind you one thing which is hidden here in paper 1 that in case of systemic histology concerned with CNS or head and neck or upper limb that will be asked in paper 1 like in case they might ask you the histology of cerebellum, cerebrum, thyroid, salivary glands, parotids, submandibular. Question on systemic histology as well as systemic embryology will be embedded there in those long questions concerned with the gross anatomy of CNS, head and neck and upper limb. Similarly, development of thyroid, tongue, the developmental defects of neural tube, thymus, palatine tonsil, you know the histology of palatine tonsil and thymus is also asked. All such questions related to histology and embryology of CNS, head and neck and upper limb will be there in paper 1 apart from the general histology and general embryology, right? So that was important to tell you. And then genetics, there might be a separate question on genetics or might be only in the form of an MCQ. And genetics here is not cytogenetics. Remember, it's well taught and asked in biochemistry. Here in anatomy, you just need to know about the chromosomal anomalies, the abrasions, as well as the hereditary diseases the hereditary pattern or might be cell division, cell cycle related questions. That's enough. Well, one more thing I want to add here that radiological anatomy and surface anatomy and osteology, these are also part of your syllabus. They might be impregnated such questions with the long questions of either of the two papers. They might ask you the radiological findings in gastric ulcers, kidney related problems, gallbladder, renal stones or transfer sections related questions even might be an MCQ and surface anatomy and osteology can also be asked in the form of an MCQ, right? So make sure you prepare accordingly and good luck from my side. Wish you all the best.